Okay, so this is the Band Hero review. I decided to do a PowerPoint this time because it'll help a little better to show you guys a couple examples and stuff. And I did get some actual game footage in. I'll show in between the stuff. So here we go. Um, okay, sorry. Okay, so this is Band Hero. Um, over here you can see the bundle. This is the Guitar 05 guitar that comes with it. Standard mic. And the drums are a little bit different for the Weavers, and we'll get into that later. Alright, so the before thoughts, um, when they announced this and they gave us a little info on it as we, as it got closer to being released, I noticed that they're using Taylor Swift as an avatar, and she does commercials for this game and stuff, and I was just like, oh my god. A lot of people were like, wow, never stop really sell sold out this time. Uh, looking at the set list when they finally released the full set list, it didn't look that great. I wasn't crazy about it at all. Um, the This game has a lot of songs sung by girls. In fact, this game has, I think, a third of the set list is sung by a female, which is the most for any Guitar Hero or Rock Band game yet. Choosing the Guitar Hero 5 format, so yes, it, this is a rehash of Guitar Hero 5's um, presentation and stuff. And almost all the songs on this game are exportable to Guitar Hero 5. And um, some of uh, the songs from Guitar Hero 5 are exportable to Band Hero. And you can export so some songs from World Tour and uh, Smash It onto this game as well. So I like all the... You can export stuff all around which way you want. So the good stuff about the presentation, using the Guitar Hero 5 format... The, um, this was praised from reviewers for Guitar 5 because the format in that is just so much more easier. You can really pick up on it. Stuff like Party Play really brought this game up a whole nother level. And it's a great experience for even the casual game um, player for this kind of game. And it's colorful. No, this is advertised as a pop-oriented game, so they did fit the colors right. It's got a pretty presentation, I guess. For a pop game continues to include things from previous guitar Hero games stuff like you'll see the music creator where you can create your own custom songs still being included in every single guitar Hero game since it was first in, um, released on world tour I like to see this stuff I may not use most of this stuff but I like seeing that I have the option to use this stuff in every guitar Hero game yet I like it when they just keep adding on stuff from game to game it's a good thing to see and of course it's very user friendly people new to this experience will be able to pick up on it right away bad stuff it's using the guitar 5 format so yes like i said this is a rehash and doesn't help guitar Hero's case because a lot of people can just say guitar hero really does just use the same damn format for all their games until they find a new one and it definitely doesn't bring anything new to the table and the colors it is colorful and this will alienate and even turn off like, you know, the hard rock, heavy metal fans from the game just because of that. You know, some could claim that this game is really fruity looking. Set list. Very pop oriented, of course. Has a lot of recognizable songs. You may not recognize them by their title, but you listen to them a little bit. And you'll be like, oh yeah, I heard that song before. It has a lot of variety. You'll hear stuff from country to hip-hop to alternative to R&B to classic rock. has a lot of variety like Guitar Hero 5 did. Not as much though, but that's actually a good thing. So for a pop game, this works. Here's the full set list. So that was the full set list. So now we're going to get into the instrumental portions of this. And I'll show you guys a couple actual gameplay footage from it. And show you guys what it's like.
obviously you just watched a couple example clips so for the guitar yes we all knew it was going to be extremely easy you weren't expecting you know like Iron Maiden or Megadeth challenging the charts for this game and even though the song uses a lot of chord fest which is just basically strumming different chords over and over and over some of these songs are even worse like you just saw um, do you really want to hurt me by culture club it's just a simple da 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 that the entire time is so so boring like just the definition of boring one of the worst guitar charts I've ever seen just very blah overall but one interesting thing about it is that especially for songs like YMCA they use a lot of non-guitar parts in the charts so they'll chart things from saxophones the flutes to I think even an oboe in one song, the trumpets, to even a whole violin section. The, that was one interesting thing I found about it, but otherwise these guitar charts are just, oh my god, horrible. Just absolutely, um, you're not going to get much out of it, sorry. I don't even want to get too much into these. You guys saw from the bass charts. They're pretty bad. So just as bad as guitar. It's even easier, of course, but that's natural for the bass to be easier. Extremely blah. I don't know. From Guitar 5 onward, bass charts have just having that same. haven't had the oomph they used to, basically. Hope Guitar 5 finally gets these bass and, char bass and guitar parts better in the next games or so.